talk to this team throughout camp. You know, I got a statement first. Yeah. I don't usually have a statement after scrimmages. Um, no, I just wanted to announce that uh, Jordan Ross Simmons is not going to be part of our team anymore. And it's, um, our captain talked about it today. And, um, you know, in this era of NIL, who knows what's behind all this stuff, but he will not no longer be a part of our team. So moving forward, so just so we're, we're aware of that. Okay. So leading into that, you've talked to this team all camp. This is about opportunity and taking advantage of it. Has your team done that to the degree that you would like? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a it's a struggle every day. Uh, every day is different. We've tried to put this team in the hardest situations every day. Um, you know, and by this time of camp, you got a bunch of people banged up. We got, I don't know, I think we had like six linemen out there today. Uh, we had guys that hadn't played corner playing corner, but it's all about getting the greater good better. And so uh, I feel like we've done that every day. Um, I really like what we're doing. We're challenging our team schematically with the things we're doing. We're challenging our coaches schematically. And uh, we just want to see guys respond and do the things that we're asking them to do. You know, I made a big point today about being dependable, and that's so important. Coaches got to be able to trust players, and we're, we're finding out who we can count on out here every day. When we talked about taking advantage of opportunities, it's not just like a boom jock who was in a reserve role last year, who's looking to step into a starting role, but I talked to Newer about it. He yeah. started all last year, but he's still young in his career. Yeah. You're seeing that from, from all ages, yes. all age ranges? Yeah, yeah, I think the... I think the biggest thing this spring is all the young players that have gotten so many reps, you know, Boom Jock and Newer and Jalen Gardner, he was out there today for a lot of snaps. Um, our young linemen, guys like Ator and Tanner Morley, those guys are getting tons of reps. And, and it, this experience is just invaluable. You know, these practices are like games and they have to find their way through. You know, good things happen, bad things happen, they get tired, they get sore, they gotta learn to fight through. And that's what spring practice is all about. So the the experience and the reps that those young guys getting are getting are immeasurable. So no justice. How does that affect the, the receiver room moving forward and kind of what some of these you know other guys need to do, you know, stepping up into roles? Yeah, we just gotta continue to um, um, develop playmakers and we're doing that in recruiting, we're doing that with the young players we've already signed. Um, you know, we had some guys make some plays today. Really proud of Goffney. Uh, and really, really happy with Donovan Ali as a transfer. I mean, he's an older guy. He gives us size and maturity and experience and, um, and consistency that we need. And so, um, you know, those guys are all going to be big contributors, obviously Tory. Um, but I've been happy with, uh, you know, Caleb Goody. He's had a really good spring. You know, Flip had a big touchdown today. Makai Fox. Uh, we have a lot of guys that are stepping up. Jamari Pearson's had a heck of a spring. And those guys are dependable players that we that we believe we can count on. You know, we just got a big commitment this week from a big tight end that we think fits the mold of what we're looking for. Um, and and so we're excited about the playmakers we have. And you know, we're gonna play the guys that do the things that we ask them to do. Are you still pretty confident? In, in I guess having the talent depth that that group that you need, even you know. Yes, I off. I am, especially with Tory coming back. Yeah. But the emergence of the young guys, you know, that, that I said uh, uh, gives me confidence that we're going to be good. And, you know, Braden, Braden has done a great job this spring taking care of the football, um, not turning it over, and using all those playmakers and helping train the young guys. I think that's shown the maturity that Braden has as well. And, you know, we've just ch challenged him to protect the ball every day and spread the ball to your playmakers, and he's done that. After last week's scrimmage, it felt like the offense had kind of come out and had a leg up. This week, it felt like maybe the defense came out and had a leg up, leg up at least on the ones. Is it nice to kind of see that dynamic flip? From yeah, it's week? just competition, and I always giggle when it. Everybody wants to know about who won the offense. I mean, <laughs> we practice against each other every day. We run the same plays, um, but I thought it was good. I thought uh, we did some good things defensively. I was happy, you know, with the two-minute drill. Uh, we've, we've shown a lot of improvement over the spring. We, you know, we've done it every day for the last two weeks, and uh, that was a big improvement we wanted to see at the end of the game, you know, in a two-minute situation. Can we play defense? Can we keep the other team from scoring? 
and uh, no, I was I was pleased with that today. You guys last season, uh, um, the, fir the first five was a big improvement on the offensive line. How do you feel like the depth is kind of catching up? Is that the, kind of the next step for you guys? Yeah, offensive line? I, I've Even been you're really short on bodies a little bit. I've right been now. really pleased with our offensive line. I think we're more physical than we've ever been, and we have more depth than we have ever had. And you know, uh, Chandler Brown and Alex Foster are great additions. Uh, as uh, those older junior college guys, I absolutely love Drew Moss in there at guard. We moved him from tackle to guard. And then, you know, backside, you know, we have Alex at guard and, and, we've, and we've, we've used Tanner Morley in there and he's a big, big body. Him and Ator are two really good, young, gigantic young linemen that have the physicality that we're looking for. You know, I wanna be absolutely as big as that we can at center and guard so we can move bodies inside, and, and those guys will help us do that. Thanks, Jake. Thank, Thank you, Jake. you guys.